Georgia coach Susan Yachlin retired this season after 26 years at Georgia, having led the Jim Dogs to 10 NCAA team titles and coached more than 50 All-Americans. The coach knows a few things about college gymnastics, and when she looks at Courtney Kupitz, she sees something much larger than a five-foot-tall gymnast. She's just incredible, a mental giant. Courtney is by far the absolute best gymnast I have ever coached. It's not just her physical talent, it's her mental strength. That's what really sets her apart from everyone else. When she decides to turn it up a notch, she just can tell her body what to do. And it's, it's just amazing because she'll have some of the worst practices in the world two and three days before a big competition. And you'll go, oh, wonder if Courtney's really ready. And then she'll come out and just turn it up a notch. You can just see her go into this different gear. And the blinders go on and the focus becomes really, really intense. How much of gymnastics is mental? Like 85. 85% mental. It's basically, you do it every day. You have a couple months of doing routines. It's pretty much not physical anymore. I have gotten a little bit of a reputation for being okay at being mentally tough. Um, I don't know why, but I mean, I'll take it. I really don't know where it comes from, but inside, deep down inside, is where the mental toughness comes from. It's, it's just, I think, the love for the sport, and I want to do my best every single time. You got to get focused, you got to get into it, and I don't know, it's like a zone, people call it, I guess, sometimes. Before her career began at Georgia, Courtney was a member of the 2004 U.S. Olympic team that competed in Athens. At the time, I had a fracture in my hip, and we didn't know it, and so I was always in the training room in a lot of pain, but... Um, you know what, it was the Olympics and I didn't care how much pain I was in, so I pushed through it and it was so worth it because our team got a silver medal um, in the team competition and I got a bronze on the bars. It would have been a little bit better if I wasn't in so much pain, but it was the coolest thing ever. It was not the only time Courtney would have to battle injuries. After winning NCAA individual and team titles her freshman and sophomore years at Georgia, Courtney tore her Achilles tendon in a meet during her junior season. It was hard getting over the fact that I did it, but then, I mean, the next week I had to be ready to go and help my team. As Suzanne always says, every player on the team counts, no matter if you're competing, if you're the one cheering, if you're injured, like you're part of the team and you have to help in some way. So I was ready to find my new role and it was trying to be the goofy one because I am quite animated sometimes. I jumped right back on board, you know, played around on this little stool I rolled around in here instead of crutches. She battled the injury and she battled the pressure that comes with being a champion. The way I look at it, it's like there's always pressure. No matter what team you're on, no matter who you are, no matter what event you do, it's just the type of pressure that changes. Like if you're a freshman, there's pressure to measure up to everyone else. If you're a senior, there's pressure to do good because it's your last year. If you're on top, there's pressure to stay on top. If you're an underdog, there's pressure to become the leader. I mean, no matter who you are, there's pressure. The outside pressure is what you got to push away. You can't listen to that. You can't think about it. You can't talk about it. I mean, it's there, but that's what you got to go in one ear, out the other. The comeback from the torn Achilles was a total success. In this year, her senior year, she won four national titles in one season, which had never been done before. So her total of nine NCAA titles is an NC2A record. She is by far the most decorated collegiate athlete ever in the history of women's gymnastics. Yes, I'm finally completely done with gymnastics, you know, swinging on the bars, flipping on the beam. It's exciting. It's a new stage in my life and I'll be involved with gymnastics in some aspect, no matter what. If it's just helping out at little gymnastics camps, you know, speaking to little kids or, you know, I'm just always going to be involved in some aspect. I don't know how right now, but definitely won't be a coach. I'm not, I'm not the coach material. I want to have fun in the gym and coaches end up having to yell once in a while. I don't want to do that. So I'll be the nice one that comes in once in a while uh, and helps out. <laughs>